We're getting the facts on the alarming number of sea stars dying off the Oregon coast. And scientists tell us they've seen a sudden surge of the animals wasting away in just the past two weeks. And if it continues, we found out they could actually be extinct by July. Jessica Morker checking on the effects this could have on our entire ecosystem. Scientists tell me that a specific type of sea star is affected because of this. It's called the purple ochre, a very important species that helps keep the mussel population under control. And while the exact effects are unknown, I found out that on the surface, this could potentially change the physical look of the ocean on the entire west coast and affect seaweed. Hermit crabs, the little, the little fish, and, um, and then sea anemones, and, and, enemies, and the, the little... Uh, we're the little spiny guys. If you ask beachgoers at Cannon Beach, they'll tell you the tide pools on the coast aren't complete without its starfish. When you're looking at tide pools, if you find a starfish, that's like one of the coolest things, and everybody says, Look, I found a starfish. I found out as many as 50 to 60 percent of the sea star population, primarily the ochre star, have died so far on parts of the Oregon coast. Scientists call it an epidemic of historic magnitude and tell me the wasting syndrome causes sea stars to form lesions and lose their limbs. So far, no one knows the exact cause. If the sea stars are gone, they're not going to be able to prevent the mussels from invading the lower shore. OSU marine biology professor Bruce Mengi spoke to us via Skype tonight explaining that the sea star is an aggressive predator responsible for diversity in the intertidal part of the ocean. If they disappear, the impact on the ecosystem could be severe, affecting seaweed and the physical appearance of the west coast. Mengi says, the next time you're at the beach, do not touch them. We don't really know what the pathogen is. I'm sure it's not going to affect people, but, uh, you know, to prevent spreading it, it's just best to not to have any contact with it. In Cannon Beach, Jessica Morkert, Coin 6 News. Boy, informative story, Jessica. Thank you.